Everybody, it's Invicta. It's time to the Eden Run here, the Binding of Isaac Victor Repentance Series. Happy Saturday, Mosh Pit. I hope your weekends are going off to a great start. You're staying cool because, man, it's freaking hot outside. So we're still waiting for another video to cross 3,000 likes at the time of this recording. A couple of them are very close, though, so I have no doubt the Mosh Pit will rally and get those above 3,000 so we can add the like streak counter back down below tomorrow for uh, the random run day. We'll see who we get. But first, we got to do another Eden run today. And speaking of which, here's your artwork of the day submitted here by the bot. I don't know why, like, it's not a segue. This is Eden, but I'm just going to say it anyway. Speaking of which, we also had today's artwork of the day sent in by the boss 113201. Title three was today was my birthday and wanted to draw my favorite Isaac character. And it's Tainted Apollyon. And I do love the fact that Tainted Apollyon kind of sort of has like little sissy legs there. I don't know if that was deliberate or not. But happy birthday, me. No, happy birthday to you, the boss. And thank you, everyone, who upvoted that one a few days ago. And uh, hopefully it was a good one. So, and thanks for the artwork. It's really cool. I love I love simple simple pencil art, and pen art is just really cool. Seed day is going to be 4-2 uh, Whiskey 3, Echo 2 Papa Whiskey. And, oh, my gosh, we didn't start with Genesis for once, although we could get it. I thought, I thought maybe. Ooh. Oh, we also have chocolate milk now. Uh, so we're gonna start off. We're gonna start off with uh, not uh, not the uh, the Dead Sea Trolls, but we're gonna start off with Fortune Cookie, which is a fantastic space bar item, allowing you to possibly get just an absolute butt ton of soul hearts early on. Of course, you can also get uh, uh, tarot cards with it as well, uh, or you can also also get like useless fortunes that take up some of the space on the screen and cause me to get hit sometimes. And then I, of course, they're going to be mad about it. Uh, the Devil in Disguise. Yep. Yep. But yeah, it's been a uh, it's been quite the week that we've had. Um, my voice is feeling better. I know, I know, people are rolling their eyes. Always oh, talking about his voice again. Look, I gotta keep you all up to date. All right, all right. If it's if it's gonna affect the the outcome of a of an episode, it's commentary, bro. If it's gonna if it's gonna out if it's gonna affect the outcome of the of an episode uh, on uh, with the commentary and stuff, I'm gonna let you know about it. But right now, it's feeling good. Um, so. Yeah, I think it's uh, it's taken a week, but fully back to uh, fully back to full strength and all that stuff until I have to start doing vocals for the new song, and then it's probably gonna go right back down the tubes. <laughs> so speaking of the new song, uh, I don't at the time of recording, I have not released it yet, but it's probably gonna be coming out either today or it already came out uh, yesterday um, on Friday. I haven't decided at the time of recording whether or not I'm going to do that or not um it may it might be tonight tonight for me tomorrow for you all um or uh coming out uh today which is tomorrow for me and today for you all it's it's kind of weird for like recording these uh, like a day prior is like the, the, it's a it's a it's a weird timeline man uh but what the one thing i will say is that of course patreon did already receive the new track the word of water we've released our new song and uh for those of you again who want early access to the music go check out my patreon and you can also of course uh subscribe to the patreon at the 25 dollars level and get those awesome Sinvicta keychains uh, including getting entered entered into the uh the gold uh, signature edition of the keychain which are very cool we do it we we just sent out the second one well we didn't just do it it was the beginning of the month but we're about to do another one at the start of August. So definitely go check it out. And we get Crack Crown to start with as well. Uh, we've got enough bomb. Oh, no, never mind. I mean, we do have enough bombs for me to go look for the secret room, I guess. I'm just kind of being lazy because I hate this room. It could be there. Let's go check for confirmation. Okay. We know it can't be there because of those rocks. So it's got to be, huh? It'd only be, huh? So the secret room, was it worth it? It was not worth it. And I don't remember what was inside of our store. Uh, I know that there was not a donation machine. Yeah, we're not taking... I mean, we could, if we really, really wanted to, we could try to find seven cents for the trinket smelter, but it's kind of a... Th that's a long shot with only two bombs and uh, no temperance machines or anything like that. I believe that the super secret room is here. Now I'm just curious. Okay. All right. So what do we learn, kids? Don't ever look for the super secret room. Unless you know where it is. And since we are here on floor two, we can go talk about last week's uh, episode question of the day or question of the episode. Uh, that was on the doubly strategic episode seven days ago. 
Uh, that is the one where we had Damocles and then Genesis. Well, we had Genesis, we had Genesis and then Damocles. We had we had D Gen Gemocles. Um, and uh, I simply asked, what would you have done? Uh, how long would you have waited before you started using Genesis? And the most upvoted reply to that was Shiro4129, uh, who very plainly said, I for sure would have taken my reflection with Cricket's body um, and, uh, and the amount of damage range that that and, uh, and tears that would have provided would have been great. I'm paraphrasing here because I'm trying not to die and, and get hit here early on. Um, I mean... Uh, you know, my reflection, the, the thing about my reflection that I always forget is the fact that, like, it does give you a massive range upgrade. Um, and I'm usually pretty heavily biased against my reflection. Uh, but there are times, especially if you have piercing shots, where it is good. Now, I will say that with Cricket's body, it does it does definitely counteract the, the negative range uh, that you, the, basically the, the range down that you lose from uh, Cricket's body. But you do have to worry about the jostling going on uh, with the splash damage definitely a concern of mine uh broken stop watching golden pill maybe with maybe with crack crown but even then like i don't really want to lose any stats right now because we don't have any damage and uh you know yes we don't i mean we can't get a damage down or anything from a golden pill but i don't want to lose any dps uh i will use a bomb for this however and it was okay okay not bad we got our bomb back so got a bomb plus one got more money so we're at 15 cents now so that's good for a premium item probably not on this floor but maybe the next really hoping that uh really hoping that uh for really okay really hoping that fortune cookie ends up paying out with some more soul heart soon but you really can't complain when it comes to fortune cookie it's just it's just too dang good man it's really 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 strong for a two cost cooldown you get you, you get an almost surefire guaranteed soul heart generator. Um, you're going to get a couple of soul hearts once every every few rooms or so uh, on any given level. And that's that's a lot of survivability. Even if you get unlucky, you only get one or two per floor. That's still fantastic. That's still way better than, like say, like the Book of Revelations or Satanic Bible because you don't have to worry about losing your boss item either. So, you know, the, I mean, the fortune cookie is just, a, it's just better all the way around, in my opinion. And you can also get tarot cards that can give you other stuff. Like money, bombs, keys, you know, all the fun stuff that the tarot cards can provide you. So, um, another reply was uh, that was upvoted was from I'm gonna say Sumisu. They said try for boss rush then Genesis is what they would have done, and that's a good. I mean, that's a good strategy if you know that you're gonna have Genesis and uh, you think that you're you know you probably are not going to need it for a while. Uh, I do want bloody gust. I don't want dark arts here because we have again we have uh we've got uh fortune cookies so what i'm doing is i'm going to i'm going to drop what i've got and then use those frames to uh to basically keep isaac um have him holding up something so you can walk through the item pedestals there so you're not forced to take a devil deal that you don't want to take um there is enough there are enough red hearts on the ground here for me to at least go check out what's inside of here Ooh. I don't trust demon judgments. And we also have old bandage, so that's going to give us even more of a reason to go for money. We also, of course, got bloody bloody gust, which is going to give us a tears and movement speed up for the entire floor. Look at that old bandage going ham. Oh, baby, look at that. 32 cents. Now we can play the demon judgments. I feel comfortable enough to do this. The pound on the sixth tap, maybe. And we get the virus. Okay. Okay. I mean, let's just keep it going, I guess. Let the good times roll. I'm not playing the Demon Three Skull Monty because that is almost never worth it. Show you. Don't want Jello. Take some keys, though. Like, you would think that, like, you know, using your HP for Three Skull Monty uh, credits instead of money would give you, like, a boosted. Uh, rate of, of winning, but it really does not. Another judgment. judgment here. Another demon judgment. What in the world going on? Bandage continuing to pay out here. See, we're not really, not really making a whole lot of anything from this from this three skull Monty. A bum friend. So, uh, old bandage continuing to pay out. 
Um, I'm just gonna use the cherry card now, just because I don't feel like going back to go get those red hearts, unless unless this jerk didn't pay out. And he's not. So grab this. Hopefully, old bandage can at least get it. It would be nice to get another devil deal item here, because our devil deal wasn't exactly all that great. Oh, Willis, which I won't be taking. We could go down to one here. This is dangerous. Only reason why I'm doing this is because I want to get into the boss trap room. At this point, we've already lost enough HP. We might as well go check. Yeah, it's going to be a tears up and shot speed. So definitely down with that. we got to be a little bit careful, though, because we're only on one HP. So we can manage to get some good, and I mean real good damage upgrades, or possibly piercing shots, something like that. Um, we're 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 gonna be set for we're gonna be set for a very very powerful run here. Um, chocolate milk is not one of my favorite items, although it does do a great job at basically just negating any sort of need for tears ups. Um, so that's always good, but it's a very it's it, it's a it's kind of an annoying it's kind of an annoying item to play with just because I don't like the tap firing. Yes, that was another one of those instances where Isaac apparently phases through bombs. We got an HP upgrade anyway, so. Go tap the demon judgment here. La one, a couple a couple final times, and that'd be it. So. Alright, so very, very, very a very long second floor, but I think it was worth it, I think. Super Secret Room might be here, too. Oh, wait, no, we've already tried that. Should have seen that. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. We're looking... We're still looking okay. We have... Uh, we've got the Sun card, too, so if we need Spirit of the Night, we got some flying. And finally, the last... Uh, the last reply on the uh, on last week's thread was from F Gamer Eight, who said uh, basically what uh, what uh, Sumisu also said. It said I use Genesis when I enter Boss Rush to skip it and then don't do it. And again, I think that that's a good that's a good general policy to to have whenever it comes to Genesis. I think that making sure that you know you're 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 getting extra value. And in this case, or in that in that scenario, the extra value is not having to do Boss Rush. Uh, and on top of that, you can take whatever item you want and then get three extra items to choose from when you do inevitably use Genesis. So it's a good strategy all the way around, and I do I do endorse it. Um, but if you're if you're running strong enough to to do it without uh, having to go without having to to use it in boss rush, and then say for example you can um, you know you can get an extra extra item at a womb one, especially if you have a devil deal then or angel deal, then definitely do it in my opinion. Um, Back there in a second. I do want to see what's inside of the stone chest over here. Oh, we still have flying. And we get our bomb back. Plus... Get two bombs back. Plus a... Uh, soul heart, which is always good. Half price to go into the curse room. We might as well use this. Again, I'm talking about value. And, uh, yeah. I'm talking about no value there. But we do gain a little bit of extra stuff here because we have bloody gusts. So it's okay if we took one little hit of damage. Not want uh, bait and switch. What is this? A Blizzard game? Uh, we could maybe get a reroll machine or not. Okay. Here we go. Definitely, 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 definitely want to get some damage. Um, you know, and the the damage the damage modifier that you get from uh, from chocolate milk it is fantastic uh, when you use the fully charged shots. But you can't always reliably do that because you have to sometimes fire a lot faster than like you than you would if you needed to charge something, and it'd be like, oh, like we gotta we gotta push something away from us because it's getting too close. Like Fallen, for example.
a prerequisite fallen hit, and we get blood rights, which, yeah, that would be, that would be a fallen drop right there. It looks like Curse of Darkness for some reason. There we go. And we don't have flying anymore because our reverse sun card has worn off. And now you're starting to see exactly what I was talking about with the damage. And, uh, you know, it's not feasible. Or it's not wise, anyway, for us to use just nothing but charge shots. That's kind of the, the sweet science behind Chocolate Milk is trying to figure out what's the best... What is the best firing method? Is it you want pulse fire? You want charge shots? And... Uh, you really, it's a mix between the two is the answer. Sometimes you need the rapid fire shots and sometimes you need the really big damage shots. But the problem here is that our really big damage shot is hitting for like maybe five hits of damage because we have 2.61. So it's not going to be doing that much and we keep getting active items. Okay. All right. So starting to, starting to get to the point where it's getting a little struggle bussy, I got to say. Stuck on a mushroom there, so we're going to get a little bit of extra movement speed and tears, but we don't need tears or movement speed, we need damage. Okay. Not gonna lie, fortune cookie kind of bummed me out. We 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 brought you on this team because you you're supposed to be a big time player, and you paid out with fortunes, I think, literally six times in a row now. So what I need you to do, I need you to start paying out with soul hearts, because that's what we need right now. We don't need fortunes. In fact, we never need fortunes. Ops too. Oh boy. All right. Active items on active items and active items. Need. We we need we need a lot of stuff. I mean, we're about to be in depths one, and we've got. We, we I mean, our, like we've got no damage. We still have base damage here. Fortune cookie, come on, come on now. All this, all this talk, we got, we, we got you hyped up trying to get people to understand that you're like, you know, a big time player, and then, then you do this. Not acceptable. Already did the rare double pooter spawn instead of charging, and she did it again. Get growth hormones, which is going to be good, and a Krampus five. Remember, we've got crack crown, so any any damage up that we get is going to be magnified a little bit. Not a lot, but a little bit. We are definitely entering in struggle bus territory here. Struggle bus is it's warming up the engine. I can hear the the rumbling, the loose the loose screws of the of the axles starting to creak and and yell a little bit. I, I, I don't know why screws would yell. Not looking good, y'all. If we don't get a if we don't get a significant damage upgrade on this floor or a significant tier effect on this floor, we are in a lot of trouble. I mean, we're we're talking like we need to go to the cathedral and get the hell out of this run. Like levels of danger here. Because in in the span of 3 floors, we've gone to, oh, you know, we're looking all right to we are in doo-doo territory. Um, us having us getting basically one more away from spun doesn't even really matter because we've got chocolate milk I, I'm I'm legit counting how many times we're using fortune cookie here fortune cookie you're you're falling down the the, the power ranking real quick here son This is one of those this is one of those runs where we cannot afford to lose HP. And if we have the ability to spawn HP, that's the only strength that we've got. 
because we're not going to be able to effectively defend our HP because we just don't deal any damage right now. Yeah, we need more of that. Less fortune, more, more cookie. Okay. I... I can't believe the secret room is not there. Howdy, these this, this seed is something else. I'll tell you I'll, I'll I'll give that to you, game. This is definitely something. You know, you just gotta survive, overcome, and adapt. And right now we're we're trying. It's 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 tough out here, Sarge. And this is kind of the reason, another reason why I dislike chocolate milk is because I don't want to be doing partial damage with my high tiers rate. I want to be dealing all of my tier damage, what little I have with every shot, instead of pulse firing and getting like a tenth of the damage. And that's another reason why, like, I'm not a huge, super huge fan on chocolate milk as an item that's like, you know, a lot of people really like it. And it does help out. The, there's good and bad. The good is that, of course, you you totally negate the need of, of, of tears ups and stuff. Um, the bad is that you don't deal full tier damage with every shot. Oh, so we need. I mean, like like I said, boss boss rush ain't happening. Um, there it was never going to happen at, at, on this run. Um, we need to get something that is not an active item in our in our item room for once. If we can do that, then there's there's still there's still hope and a chance. Thank you, charge baby. Ask again later. Great. Well. And once again, coming to you asking for another soul heart. Fortune cookie, as you're the only thing that we have going for us. Thank you. Now please do it again and again, and again and again and again. Key bombs. Well, we might as well figure out what's what's left up here. Okay. Don't do that. Um. Yeah, we could use a lock upgrade for show. Going to give us an extra key. And as much as I don't want to lose a soul heart here, we pretty much kind of have to. And we don't. And in really a, a, an ironic twist is that chocolate milk negates the benefits, kind of negates the benefits of Bloody Gust. We still gain the movement speed, of course, but we don't get the tears up because, again, we've got chocolate milk. And this is definitely not who I wanted to see either here was a four horseman. But an orbital is certainly not what we're looking for, so. You got to be careful with sticky bombs because they do stick to things. It's the name. So if you got a, if you have a, a boss or a mob that has a tendency to charge towards Isaac, you could invert. Don't you ever shoot. Keep the ball bandages. And Curse of the Blind. 
So yeah, remember when I was saying how if we don't get a significant damage upgrade on the last floor, we're going to be in some serious trouble? We're there. We are 100% in here. We are in the thick of it. So this now becomes one of those types of runs that you simply have to outlast. And uh, our only strength at this point is going to be fortune cookie. Cardio coin here. There's definitely an element of being tilted right now, for sure. It's going on as well, which is working against us. You can't do that. You can't. Wor you can't get into your own head. You have runs like this. You start making bad plays. You start walking in spikes. You start shooting bombs that make weird, weird. Uh, lists towards you. I was trying to say schmoove, but like it didn't. It didn't quite work out that way. Yeah, like you saw the little jostle right there. That's the problem with chocolate milk. And also, going back to what we talked about with Cricket's body, it does it does the same the same exact thing with with stuff in the air. Especially, especially if you're dealing with an with a mob that explodes. And it's Curse of Blind, and we are, it's desperate times call for desperate, desperate measure plays here, so. We'll be taking blind items because we are, we, we literally have to. Scorpio is not bad. Scorpio at least gives us a little bit of extra damage, even though it doesn't do anything for our damage stat. It does affect how much damage we deal. And right now, as you can tell, we have needed, I mean, quite literally anything. Blue map is going to show us where our secret rooms are. And at this point, I would welcome a reroll, even if it's even if it's missing. No, like that's that is how far we've we've come at this point. This is one of the few times where we say that, like, it, it's all bets are off. Red alert. I think we can pick up Napoleon's best friend and get the abyssal fly. Oh no, never mind. I thought I thought it stuck around like a little clot, but apparently it doesn't. Alright. Alright. He's here. This is a full card. And I guess we just put money in the donation machine and call it a day. Here's to hoping the stars card is just as good as an emperor card. We do eventually need it. Which may be honestly sooner than later. At least the business took care of all the, all the flying fetuses in the room. Which sounds like the rambling of a madman if you really think about it. Good to die. Oh boy, get ready for a long mom fight. And I mean a long mom fight, especially blue mom. Gonna try to use as many charge shots as possible here, but at this point we are fighting just to stay alive in this run. Charge baby, I'm not gonna lie. That was not the play right there. I need you to not freeze the spider right in front of me. It was Poor timing with the mom, mom foot with the rock over here as well. Come on, team. We got to pull it together. This is not a run where we can, we can take any damage, really. Everyone's stepping it up.
Scorpio doing a little bit of work. Three single, single HP double deal items. I mean, we really can't. There, there's no four Babylon, Guppy's head, Guppy's collar, Guppy's hairball, the mark, sulfur. For three, for three hearts, though, man, like. I guess backstabber would be one. A fame could be one. For the dead, hairball, and the nail. We have to have faith in the fortune cookie. Fortune cookie, this is this is your swan song right here. It's it's do or die, son. This is this is Dire Straits. Dire's Eve. Off of the album Injustice for All territory. There we go. That's what we need. We need more of that. I give us an Emperor card and we can all go home. Well, actually we can't go home. We we'd be going straight to the boss, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Charge baby, I like it. I like it. So using what we have at our disposal here. Blue map coming in handy, showing us where we think we think the boss could be. Thereby significantly cutting down the danger in womb one anyway. Now, we don't know if this is for sure. Game apparently says it's not true, but I don't know about that game. Careful, Tiny Toma. And the game was right. All right. Never mind. Don't listen to me ever. All right. At least we got a soul heart out of it. So now we don't know where the boss is. The only thing we can confidently say is where it's not. And that is where we thought it would be. Just trying to win just one room at a time. We, we, we just got to do it. No. We can't take pulse from you know why that's why look at our stats without without crack crown i mean it's just it's not doable like we don't even have great stats to begin with even or even with crack crown like our stats are really not world beating here but it's better than it's better than not and pulse worm doesn't do anything for us anyway so. Scorpio puts a little bit of a weird timer on your on your shot count we get another soul heart out of nowhere now, normally, if we didn't have chocolate milk, I'd be going and playing the temperance machine in the arcade, so we can get it, so we can get a tears up. But as we've already talked about, chocolate milk is a little bit of a of an anti synergy with uh, bloody gust. Mama Gertie, you're gonna have to calm it down. hits against Mama Gertie and a speed upgrade. Yep. 
We are... Now is when, I mean, every hit point counts, but it's, uh, it counts even more so. We've got to stop the bleeding here. And again, for, this is where Fortune Cookie really needs to be our ace in the hole. Because this is, this is our only carry at this point. It is exactly how I said it would go on Depths 2, which is that we have to now rely upon our ability to create soul hearts and then protect that as much as possible which is why giving up three three hp for essentially not really any gain is is really bad i mean we gained guppy's hairball and that was about it so you know there's not a whole lot of of advantage there that was worth three soul hearts but i mean again desperate times like it could have been good it could have been backstabber it could have been the mark it could have been, you know, a, a, a great many things that could have helped us out here. So it was definitely worth the risk at the time, but now, obviously, hindsight's always twenty twenty. Don't want to take the death battery. Thank you, Bird Baby. Devil card we're going to have to use against Mom's heart. Gosh, that is a tinted rock. That is a tinted rock. And it gave us two bombs. This feels like where the boss would be going to the south. I'm going to trust. I'm going to place my trust in the blue map and not go the way I think it is. And we're going to give it one more go here, blue map. As you're seeing in this room, we do have one shottable damage. Uh, as long as we get a full charge off on that shot. The problem is the subsequent follow-up shots that are not not one-shotting things. And we are in a dogfight for basically every single room that we can possibly be in right now. And this is not the right way to go. All right, Blue Map, you have lost your privileges of being complimented for normally showing you being a somewhat reliable indicator of where the boss room is. You are done, and... Uh, Thank you for your historical contributions to this team, but uh, we wish you all the best in the future. You know the exit, right? Yeah, you know where to go? Yeah, good. No, no, that's fine. You can just leave your keys on the counter. Yeah, that's fine. No, no, no. No, you cannot keep the lanyard. You have to give that back. It's you're, you're, it's, it's for team members only. You are you're no longer on the team. Yeah, that door right there. Yeah, thank you. All right. get a big damage boost here with the devil card we're going to need to use our charge shots pretty much as much as possible nice nice poisons there by Scorpio Three percent devil deal. Wing and a miss. All right. So we only got to beat two more levels, but uh, it's the worst. Not worst two. I, I mean, I would I would venture to say that womb two is probably worse than the chest, but we'll see.
Cathedral is easily the worst out of the last three levels of a, of a regular side run. Cathedral is easily the most dangerous. Isaac being the hardest boss that you will fight. And this is where the strength of chocolate milk is really going to show its weaknesses here. Against tanky enemies who have orbitals, who have damage shields, who have everything. It is not, not good. We may have to play this judgment. I don't want to because it's in a really, really awkward, obnoxious spot. I don't know what that gave us, but we need we need more more soul hearts. We need more. Remember, we passed up a guaranteed soul heart generator for you, fortune cookie. So you know. No one is never not on the bubble. Just throwing it out there. Like we've already we already cut blue map from this run. You can be cut too, son. No one no one is above evaluation here. Three skulls is worth at least trying. your butts everybody this is gonna be a long fight fortunately these are not bloody bombs so the creep does not deal damage to things that are on it, it just slows them down which does slow down Isaac's shots which helps out but no. what would slow him down even more is if he was just dead really leaning hard on Scorpio right now to give us that increased dot damage that we have with a fully charged chocolate milk shot. Okay. Sure. Mm-hmm. anything here at this point we need the stars car to take us to blue baby otherwise we are in dire straits. We, we've been in dire straits in this room we have to get hp or damage here anarchist cookbook mystery sack number one and the prayer card I 
I can't justify staying with the prayer card over fortune cookie. All right, stars card. Now's your time. We've held on to you for this long. You got to make a big time play here. It took us pretty far. Whether or not this is the right place to be is as remains to be seen, but we'll see if the blue map is an indicator here. Do this all day, Daddy. Magician card. I mean, it helps, but Devil card would be nice. Hierophant card would be great. Give the radio silence here. We've got a lot of things going on. Let's run. Please get off the screen. Got a couple of bombs. Finding the right time to cross there is, is the worst part about this room. If you don't have if you don't have enough damage to kill everything in one go, and the whole line just kind of zombie walks towards you, it's rough. Diamonds. Okay, so we're going to get two extra items here. I cannot use a bomb to open these. We have to use the barrels because we're going to need the bomb for Blue Baby if we find Blue Baby. don't know if we're going backwards or if we're going forwards here. I feel like we're going backwards. The way that it's curving towards the secret room tells me that this is probably the opposite direction of the boss. Yeah. So the stars card did its duty. It took us one away from the boss room. We just went the wrong direction. We got blinded by the, by the, the uh, blue map. Also, this room is absolutely pure hell. That's going to be the question of the day, everybody. Why so blue? Why so blue? Oh, man. All right. 
We got two bombs in a dream. We've gotten one damage upgrade this entire run. Yeehaw. I almost don't want to go take Bloodshot Eye, but we kind of have to. I mean, it's some, it's some kind of damage. And then we're going to hold on to the Magician, so... Here we go. Why so blue, everybody? Big help. There we go. No hit, Blue Baby. Who was even worried? <sighs> Happy Saturday, Mosh Pit. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. If you didn't, click the dislike button. Remember to answer the question of the episode, why so blue? Surely you're not having a bad weekend after that run, right? Right? You can't. You can't. What a dub. Thank you for watching, everybody. Hope you had a great start to your weekend. And as always... I'll see you all next time. Until then, so long, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. I'd like thanks to patrons of mine like Taz Bryant, Nicholas Fernald, and Ald Ode. If you'd like to have your name read at the end of an Isaac episode, check out my Patreon campaign, which you can find over at patreon.com slash Invicta. 